Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, we'll be talking about the top five Chrome extensions that every designer must have. Well, I won't say must have, but it would be good to have it. So I myself as a designer use this on my day to day basis. So if you find it useful, surely go ahead and check it out. I'll mention all these extension links on my description below. So without any further ado, let's jump onto our screen and get started. So starting off with the first one at the color picker. Uh, there are many color pickers available, but I use this one known as the colors by Fados. So starting off with the eyedropper tool. So if you like some colors on a website, I just go ahead and I choose all those colors. So it just pops on my right and these. So, okay. Uh, I like all these three colors. So you can actually go ahead and create an account and you can copy it from there. But what I do is I just take a screenshot of these colors. So that's how I take it and I put it on my document here and I just use these colors on my document. So that is the first part and still you have a few more features there. Let me just show you. So the next one is gradients. You have some cool gradients. You can just click on it and the CSS gets copied and you can use it on your uh, development site. And the next one is a color picker. You just have these colors. You can copy the hex code and the next one is the set of different colors like complementary and all these color theory colors you have different shades if you want to use it. So that is a cool one. Uh, so moving on to the next one. The second one it is what font. So like you keep browsing different sites and let's say you like the font on a website. So what you do is just go and click on this and this activates the extinction. Now we can just hover on the text and that will tell you which font it is. So as you can see, as soon as I hover, it tells me which font is it. So let's say I want more details about it. So what I do is I just go ahead and click it and that gives me extra details like the size being used, the color being used, the weight of the font and all that. So that is uh, one extension that's really helpful. And moving on to the third one, it is the CSS style board. So once I click on it, I click the open style board. So let's say I want uh, to change these fonts on the whole site. So what I do is I just click on this and I can go ahead and change different fonts. I can use Georgia, I can go for Helvetica and that and as you can see changes all the fonts on the whole site. So one more cool thing that I use this for is let's say this uh, site doesn't have a dark mode. So what I do is uh, I go ahead and change uh, each of these text. So each of these text to white color first. So there you go. I just changed this to white. So I'll just speed up this video. This is changing the text to white color basically. So there you go. I have changed all the text to white. Now the last step is changing the background to a dark mode. So I select the background here and I change it to a dark color. Sorry, that was the color. So I change the background color to a darker version. So there you go. You have changed your site uh, to a dark mode or any site that you find. And the best part is uh, this gets saved. The setting gets saved and you need not do this every time. So whenever you come to this particular site, the whole thing gets set. So let me just close this and show that for you. So let me just go back to Google here and let me just go back to the site. So whenever you open it, that opens it uh, with whatever style that you set. So let's say you don't want this and you won't go back to the default one. You can always go ahead and remove the styling here and this gets the default whatever look it had. So that is one cool extension that I use. And now moving on to the fourth one, this is a really important one and that is the page ruler by Redux. So once you click on this, you have this uh, crosshair and you can actually go ahead and let's say I want to know the width of this. So you can actually go ahead and click and drag and draw a box here and here it tells you the width, the height, the left and the top position of it. So it gives you complete detail and you can actually go ahead and change these if you want to set that exactly pixel perfect. And apart from this, if you don't want to draw it, you also have this feature called as enable element mode. So once you click on this, uh, it actually enables a mode where it just swaps onto the different elements. So I want to know the width and height of this image. So I just click on it and you have the width, the height, the position and all that stuff. So that is another cool uh, extension that you must have. 
and moving on to the last and the final one this is uh, this is something that i use uh, very often so when you hand over your design to your developers and they build it and they get back to you for a review you can use this tool it's really helpful so all you have to do is click on it the plugin name is ux check so here you have all your heuristic review points so let's say this font uh, the developers have used the wrong font so you just click on it and it gives you this pop up you can check uh, which heuristic point it comes under and then you can just type a note saying that wrong font used and you can give a recommendation that this should be open sans or whatever it is so as this is on your home page uh, the severity should be high so i'll mention it as three and just save it so let me just do one more here so once you have done uh, mentioning all the issues in the screen all you have to do is just click on export here and you get a pop-up just click on ok and that's it it generates the whole report for you so as you can see the first one the recent post it gives you the notes the recommendations and it tells you the severity so how do you send it to your developers you have this option called as download as word document just click on it and you get a document word document version of it so that's it for this video guys i hope you liked it stay tuned for more such videos and as always, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.